Thanks for all the comments on last week's scary video. It's Monday. I just called the structural engineer to uh, double check that everything was cool and he was actually watching our video with his daughter <laughs> on his week off and he had a very proud look on his face. It looks great, he said. So yeah, he's gonna double check and everything, but um, I think we're okay. It's still here, still standing. For those of you who don't know what we're up to here, we are building a big recording studio in an even bigger barn in southern Sweden. Uh, and we have two weeks of plasterboarding ahead, which is not gonna make for the most riveting video. We'll show a bit of plasterboarding. Uh, but I think we will do quite a few time lapses. We have a bit of a plan that we're gonna plasterboard each day till around three and then we're gonna do something else. And one big thing we're gonna do is hopefully install the dust extraction system in the workshop. Uh, I went to Malmo over the weekend and I bought a couple of big plastic rain barrel things which, which we're gonna use to collect all the sawdust and wood shavings and stuff. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Looking forward to this week. It's gonna be a good one. Please subscribe if you haven't already uh, and let's get cracking. I'm starting to think I should contact ISL and ask them if they're interested in sponsoring us. <laughs> we've had a good clean up. First thing we've got to do though is once again move another massive pile of plasterboard from the front out there to the side around here to that door. I think we're going to need the tractor. my arm up last time. That was just too painful to film. We've done it. It's all in. Okay, we'll have a bit of lunch and then crack on. Okay, we've reached two thirds of the way up that end wall, but it's four o'clock now on Monday and we're gonna try and avoid doing long days of plasterboarding because for those of you who've been watching for the last couple of months, we've already plasterboarded this whole thing twice and now we've got to do it twice more. So for our sanity, we're gonna break it up a little bit uh, each day and stop at 3.30 or four and do something else. So let's go to the workshop. Well, Ferdy is uh, doing well putting in these runners here. We're never going to be able to find anything. No, it's just random shit. Just random. Random, stuff. random shit. Stuff too. More random shit. Very good. Now we've just got the rest of the room to do. <laughs> There's this amazing old sink we found in one of the uh, barns here when we bought the place. It's kind of zinc lined, super deep wooden sink, which we think is just going to be perfect for the ceramics studio, which is going to be this part of the workshop. I will maybe put up a plan on screen now just to explain the different areas. So 
so we're going to divide up the workshop into three different zones using floor to ceiling shelving. At the far end will be the ceramics workshop, the little room in the middle will be for metalwork and the rest of it will be for wood. That way hopefully we don't get any cross contamination between the three different areas and it'll all work beautifully. Okay so that's the end of Monday, uh, another good day. Tomorrow we will do more plasterboarding and uh, yeah, more sorting out the workshop. See you then. Okay, it's Tuesday. That's looking good. We've got another six hours of plasterboarding to do. And then we're gonna carry on in here in the workshop, putting in some dust extraction and stuff. But yeah, before then, six hours of plasterboarding. Me and Ferdy. Oh, looking good, man. Looking good. Wow. Okay, we've got to do the, the bit at the top around these beams, which was a pain in the ass last time. This time, Ferdy's on the case, and I know this is his favorite thing. Done the hard bit, sorry I didn't film it because it was too scary. So now we just have that little bit there and then we're gonna go and have lunch and then we're gonna do that bit there. is uh, a nice strip of plasterboard around the bottom of the studio. We're fed up with plasterboarding now. Uh, yeah, that is, uh, that's that side done. It's funny, I'm getting a sense of deja vu. This is the third time now we've plasterboarded this place uh, and it never gets boring. It just gets more and more enjoyable. What is genuinely exciting is that these two walls are now gonna get their virgin layer of plasterboard. We're leaving this thing till tomorrow because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah. This is looking a little unconventional here because I think it was probably me totally screwed up the spacing of these studs here. Uh, I don't know how that happened. But this is a good example of why it's so important to try and get the studs at 60 centers, like 60 centimeters between each one, between the center of each one, I should say. Because if you don't, then when you're putting the plasterboard on, you end up having to do things like this, which is just, just painful. Slow, so slow. You live and learn. Do I learn? Don't think I ever learn, really. For the first time in history, those walls have plasterboard on them. It was supposed to be really fast, but that first bit was a nightmare. But the rest of it was pretty good. What else is there to say? Yowza. So this room is, is transformed again. Oh shit, man. It's so weird, it makes such a big difference. 
It's Thursday, it's the last day of this Easter week uh, and guess what we're doing? We're plasterboarding again for half of the day and then we're gonna do some stuff in the workshop. Wow, this is so crazy. Just the sound in here is so different. Yeah, what can I say? Anyway, let's do this. is the end of layer three <laughs> for the plasterboarding in here. We're gonna leave up there because I realized I need to do some cabling, some, uh, some wiring conduit. So this took us four almost days where we were stopping each day for some workshop stuff. So yeah, I mean, maybe three days in total, but spread over four days, something like that. So, okay, we, we know we can do this quite quick. The plasterer is coming in three weeks on Monday. So we have to get another layer on in here. We need to fill all the gaps in here, uh, all the joins, and we need to, need to do another layer. Okay, we're gonna have some lunch now, and then we're gonna do some more stuff in the workshop. See you in a bit. We're back in the workshop. We are working out how to attach all of the metal ducting to the wall, where we should attach it to and stuff. Okay, Ferdy has cut a load of these kind of joiner sleeves because according to internet law, you're not supposed to have a 90 degree, you're supposed to have two 45s, so it's a smoother curve. I don't know if that's really true. I think that's just one of those things that one of those things that gets spread around the internet and everyone believes it. Either way, we're gonna have two 45s to make up the 90. There you go, it's Thursday evening. It's, uh, it's six o'clock, it's time to stop. We've made good progress with the dust extraction. We've made a start at least. We're getting there. We will get there in the end. All of these things just take a bit of time. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you next week. Lots of love, look after each other and goodbye.